Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, root.com for this week's SM N900, the Exynos version Note 3, ROM of the week. Um, do check out my UI ROM. Um, some people call it MIUI. Um, there's a lot of ways to say it, but I like to say it is my UI. It kind of makes sense because it's like my UI. Um, really nice stuff. Um, you get the latest version 5 along with Android 4.4.2. I believe the previous version was 4.2.2. Um, so 4.4.2, very nice stuff. Now the good thing with this ROM, uh, unlike OSP ROMs, um, my UI ROMs sometimes are built on CyanogenMod. Mod. Sometimes they're built on TouchWiz. Now this one's built on TouchWiz, so you obviously get to keep your TouchWiz camera. Um, you also get to keep your S Note, um, Action Memo, Scrapbook. Uh, you may be able to install a lot of the Samsung apps back also if you need it. Um, also the uh, hovering air command works just fine. Um, so very nice stuff. Um, also, my UI ROM, for those of you who've never tried it, it is uh, made by a company called Xiaomi um, in China. And there's a, I think it's, you're supposed to say a Xiaomi, but I think it's, I don't know. There's a different way, a bunch of different uh, ways to pronounce the company's name and also the ROM way. But I'm gonna just call it Xiaomi. Uh, I think that's how it should be uh, pronounced uh, based on its spelling. Um, also my UI. Here we go. So let's get some themes here. One of the coolest thing about this ROM is that um, it comes with its own lock screen, uh, its whole theme, um, its own theme. It's got its own UI. Um, you know, so you're gonna have to get used to the settings and stuff, but it's not uh, terribly difficult. Uh, it's in fact, it's actually easier than TouchWiz to get used to. Um, now make sure you install Google App, G Apps. You have to install the minimal version um, to get Play Store. Otherwise, you will not have Play Store. You'll get this MyUI market that's in Chinese. You're not going to be able to um, use it too much. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the core of this ROM is with the themes. You can download a bunch of themes. You'll have to sign up an account with Xiaomi. Pretty easy stuff. Um, that's in English, so you should be able to sign up just fine. Um, you can get a bunch of categories. Um, there's a bunch of paid themes and there's a bunch of free themes. To get the paid themes, you have to get all these my credits. Um, since in Chinese, I think it's, I don't know, you may be able to get the credits, but I just stick with the free ones. There's a ton of them. Uh, let me show you some of these cool ones I've downloaded here. Uh, let's start with this gun one here. Now, applying the theme will change out your whole UI, uh, which is really nice. And my UI ROM is actually what the new CyanogenMod mod is based upon, their new theme engine. Um, Steve Kondik, the founder of CyanogenMod, mod, looked at my UI. I think a couple months ago he said that, um, you know, my UI's theme engine is just flawless. And that's what they're, you know, copying or um, trying to raise the level of CyanogenMod mod uh, engine theme to be at level of this. Um, so this is like the state of art theme uh, custom ROM ever. Um, so very nice stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the lock screen that's been applied, which is kind of cool. You know, if, if you're into guns, you can do this all day and then unlock it. Really cool, right? Uh, let me go ahead and show you some other cool themes you can get. Um, this one I just downloaded. I'm not sure what this one will do. Uh, but there's always like some nice um, Easter eggs in some of these things. Uh, pretty. I'll show you in a bit. So this is a new theme with a new lock screen. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out how to unlock this. Uh, but this one's pretty simple there. Let me go ahead and show you something a little bit harder or something kind of cool. Um, something that doesn't exist, you know, and everything, the theme engine is really nice. It doesn't slow you down in anything. It's, you know, it's quick. Uh, everything works out of the box. Look at that. Um, you know, so it looks really cool and it changes out your whole UI. And also there is a way um, to only apply certain parts of the theme. Uh, I wonder if I can show you that here. Nope. Um, there is a way. I forgot how to do it. Uh, but I'll give you a homework. That's your homework to figure out. Um, let me go ahead and show you one more theme. Uh, and here we go. And this one's actually cool. Um, this one has an Easter egg. If you do two fingers, it has enhancing imagination. Imagination. Um, it shows you the weather. All, the, all of these little buttons are like little things that, um, you know, these are all, all the different apps. Um, so this one is an app that just like, you know, uh, which is kind of cool, you know, if you want 
Um, what is this? All right. Yeah. There, if you go here, there's a bunch of stuff. Like if you want to pull up the calculator, there you can pull it. So that's an Easter egg in the theme. Um, and uh, you can pretty much find many cool stuff like this. And this one, you got to do that to unlock. Um, so definitely a very fun ROM to play with a bunch of different themes. And uh, if, you, if you know Chinese, then it might be even better because you know, a lot of this stuff in Chinese, so um, you'll be able to know what to download. And there's a bunch of uh, sounds you can download also if you go to sound here. Uh, let's say you want some other ringtone, you can actually go download all these uh, ringtones. Now these are all in Chinese, but um, some of it is in English. And just download a bunch of them and kind of try it out, I guess. Um, category. Uh, that looks like some kind of anime or something. Whoop, there we go. So there we go. Alright, so different ringtone sounds, uh, all kinds of stuff you can download, uh, wallpapers, uh, all that good stuff in here. Also, I've got to note out that this ROM does not come with SuperSU uh, or Super User, so go ahead and uh, install the SuperSU zip file after installing the ROM along with the G apps to get Play Store. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, there is a version for GTN, uh, sorry, SMN9005, uh, but that version I've tried, I'm actually running it over here. Uh, but it's a little bit buggy. I've got everything working on this one also, but the keyboard isn't working, so I'm trying to f figure out how to put the keyboard in. Um, also, this one has a little bug with the Play Store where you can't download uh, paid apps. Uh, I believe this is because it's a ported version, but this is straight from my UI team, so this should be more stable, or more or less. If you have an N900, definitely check it out for this week's round week, and do let me know what you think. But um, you know, if you've been looking for some nice theming capability, um, this is definitely one of the ROMs you got to try. And also the, you know, the fact that uh, it is based on uh, Samsung TouchWiz firmware and added the UI layer uh, makes it nice because you can still use the camera, uh, all of your Note features, all that good stuff. Um, it's well, not all of the TouchWiz features, but at least the basic stuff you can use. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the SMN900 Exynos, uh, and do let me know what you think. And I'll have an update when everything is working on the other version, also for T-Mobile uh, N9005 user and Canadian users. I'll have an update for that. Uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com, and have a great day. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.